Okay, so hopefully this is not gonna be too long and boring. The United States of America. This country is governed by the Constitution, which is the supreme law of the land. The law divides the federal government into three branches, legislative, executive, and judicial. A first is the legislative branch, also known as Congress. Their job is to make laws. Congress is made of the Senate and the House of Representatives. For the Senate, they have 100 senators, which is two senators from each state. Senators serve for a six-year term, and there's no limit to the number of terms that they can serve. To be a senator, you need to be at least 30 years old, a U.S. citizen for at least nine years, and a resident in the state that you represent. For the House of Representatives, they have 435 elected members, which are divided among the 50 states in proportion to their population. For example, California is a big state, so as of 2021, they have 53 representatives. Representatives of Congress serve for a two-year term, and there's no limit to the number of terms that they can serve. To be a representative, you need to be at least 25 years old, a U.S. citizen for seven years, and an inhabitant of the state that you represent. Moving on to the most well-known branch of all, the executive branch led by the President of the United States. The executive branch carry out and enforce the law. We have the President, who represent the country to other nations, command the U.S. Army, and appoint cabinet members. Cabinet members includes the vice president, whose job is to, well, support the president, and if the president dies, the vice president will become the president. The vice president is also the leader of the Senate. Below the vice president are cabinet members, who are individuals leading important U.S. department agencies like U.S. Department of Agriculture, Commerce, Defense, Education, Energy, Health, Homeland Security, Justice, Labor, and many more. Cabinet members, excluding the vice president, need to be confirmed by the majority of the Senate, meaning at least 51 to 49 votes. If there's a tie of 50-50 vote, the vice president votes will break the tie because the vice president is what? The leader of the freaking Senate. So, how do you become the president of the United States? You need to be a born citizen of the U.S., be at least 35 years old, and have been a resident of the U.S. for 14 years. The last branch of the federal government is the judicial branch or the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court interprets the law according to the Constitution and only hear cases that have issues related to the Constitution. The Supreme Court consists of nine justices with one of them being the Chief Justice. The justice is appointed by the president and needs the Senate majority to be confirmed similar to the cabinet members. Unlike other branches with term limit, justices are appointed for life unless they resign, retire, or die. For a case to go to the Supreme Court, the case needs to start at either the scenic route to the state with the state trial court, then the state court of appeals, then to one of the 50 state Supreme Court, then to the Supreme Court. Or you can go through a different route starting at the Federal Trial Court, to the Federal Appeals Court, then to the Supreme Court. Whew. And there you go, the United States of America. That's Monkey Go for today. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.